Hey everybody, Logan here. So today we're covering another five below gaming thing, if that's what you want to call it. Now it's not an accessory for any of the consoles. It's classic arcade handheld game system, 400 games. I'm going to go on a limb and call it a Famiclone. But we're going to see this was $10 at Five Below. Yeah, ain't that crazy now? Five Below is actually not Five Below anymore. So we're going to take a look at this, see what they actually put on here. The back doesn't even have full game images. Some are drawings. And one is clearly a Mario ripoff. So let's see if it's worth it. Welcome to Red Bandana Gaming. The channel where Logan will show you Okay, let's look at that. There's the trusty box opener or knife. Arcade cl classic arcade handheld game system looks like a a Game Boy almost to the T. Uh, three point seven volt lithium rechargeable battery, three inch wide display, AV cables included. Oh, so you can hook it up to a, a monitor and play hundreds of classics with a super wide backlit LCD screen. A slim portable design is easy to carry anywhere, and a rechargeable battery ensures up to six hours of continuous gameplay. All right, so that's what I was talking about right there. It looks that bootleg Mario, and then we got, this looks like a Famiclone. This really looks like a Famiclone. What's in the box? Game console, AV cable, DC cable, user manual. Okay. Yep, there you go. Big screen gaming. Oh, th this is got this has got to be terrible. This has got to be terrible. But I saw it. My wife was like, "Get it! It's gonna be hilarious!" And I was like, "Okay, I'll do it." Considering Five Below hasn't been coming out with too many other <laughs> um, game accessories for consoles and whatnot. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Okay. <laughs> Look at how short that cable is. Like, that isn't even what do you, what do you what do you what do you do with that? How do you? Okay, there's your AV cable, and they they expect you to hook this up to a TV and then play off of this thing. It's uh, I would say you guys can't see it, but it's about two and a half feet. Is that what it says? I want to say it's about two and a half feet. All right. Wow, it's feels cheap. I'm hoping it has some kind of a charge. So at least the battery is replaceable. I'm hoping there's some kind of a charge in there. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Final Fight Turtles 1. Yeah, this is a Famiclone. Exactly a Famiclone. That audio. So that's where your audio is. Let's go back and see. Oh, so now it's got random ones. Candy Workshop. Oh, there's Xevious. Let's see if there's Super Mario. Okay. Paperboy. All right. Wow. Silent Hunter. Wow. Okay. What are the game just called Warrior? What is Warrior? It's got me. What is Warrior? Oh, what? What did I just press? Okay, so A doesn't select it. Warrior, okay. Start. Warrior. What? What? I'd... 
what? Okay, what button fires? What the? Ah, the D-pad! Okay. Oh, that's... What did I just do? Oh, that's the reset, I guess. That was terrible. Twin fish. Double dragon 2. Ah! Okay, so that jumps pages. Fantasy zone. Yeah, this is a Famicom. <laughs> I told you. Uh, okay, well, I'll, I'll give you. It ain't terrible for ten dollars. They're all Japanese versions. Famicom, see? I feel like there's a slight delay in the D-pad. A slight delay. That's not bad, that being a Fantasy Zone. Yeah, it's, it's Fantasy Zone. So, it's got a number of legit titles on here, but... Is that actually Final Fight? Licensed by Nintendo! <laughs> oh. Mighty Final Fight! This has Mighty Final Fight. I'm shocked. That's an expensive game. Okay, I want to see if they have two. That's what I thought it was the menu music. All right, here it says Final Fight again. Licensed by Nintendo. Capcom presents. It's the same. It's Mighty Final Fight again. Yeah. It's Mighty Final Fight again. Yeah, okay. So, I'm not surprised because a lot of these Famiclones do that. I'm surprised that they actually kept a lot of the Ninja 1. Let's see what Ninja 1 is. I don't even know. I, I don't know what just happened there. I don't know what this game is. Okay, I don't know what that is. I don't... I'm looking for other Ninja Turtles games, but I don't see it. Castle Excellent? Pro Wrestling? What is Pro Wrestling? Literally. Oh, Nam. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. So let me turn down this volume. So, overall, this isn't a terrible Famicom for $10. Uh, it's got, it's got my final fight on it. I would say for that alone, it's worth it. Um, you can see the light through the case. It's not terrible for 10 bucks. If you, if you want to take something with you or get something for your kids just to play, you know, and not have to worry about it or even just for nostalgia sake to play some of these NES games. Oh wait, there's Tetris there, isn't it? Oh, I don't even know which version of Tetris this is. 
I don't even know which version this is. Okay, well, whatever. There you go. You've got all kinds of games on here. It is a Famiclone for, you know, for all intents and purposes. All Japanese NES ROMs. Um, some others as well. But, hey, Mighty Final Fight. There you go. Um, <laughs> as you guys can see, I'm just shocked that it's got Mighty Final Fight. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Hopefully this helped you out, whether or not you want to purchase this little bad boy. Like I said, it was $10 at five below. So, hey, Famiclone, thank you guys so much. Like what I was saying, be legendary. Thanks again.